Hello, my name is Liz Hartman. I am the founder of a slow fashion brand called Spialo. I am very excited to be working with Lion Eyes on their quarantine and chill campaign. Today, I will be talking a little bit about fear as it relates to our personal wellness and the wellness of our fashion industry in this post COVID-19 world. Hello from New Delhi. So in regard to COVID-19 and the effect that it's having on all of us, I think the biggest feeling that comes to mind, at least for me, and I think for many people, is fear. There's a lot of unknowns out there. You know, fear for our family, friends, loved ones, fear for the environment and keeping it as beautiful as it's somehow slowly become over these past few weeks in many cities. And fear for our work, fear for our industry. You know, where is where is the fashion industry going to go? And if I have a small business, which is doing the ethical, sustainable sort of thing, am I going to take a big hit? Because let's be honest, our overheads are pretty high, you know, when you want to do, do the right thing. And as a consumer, you know, what what am I facing now? Like, what are we facing as as this moves forward and brands are going to say, they're making this and that effort, I think that we have to be really adamant in telling them to prove it and not just say, oh, it's organic cotton and it's from India. Okay, what farm? And how are you processing it? And what exactly are in this, what's in this bright pink, bright purple dye, whatever it is that you're giving me? You know, we can't just accept this conscious collection crap anymore. And we all know this. And this is a really wonderful time to start calling that out. And I think so many people, so many people actually are, which is fantastic. And then more and more of us can join in on that voice. You know, one voice here and there, slowly they become a conglomerate of people who are screaming for change, which is at the end of the day, really what we want, right? Is positive change in our industry, positive change in the way people interact with the environments around them. And yeah, that comes to my to my next point is doing the dutiful in, in regard to that. You know, if we feel strongly about something, we want something to change. It's absolutely up to us to say that, to, to act that, to do the best of our ability towards that and to set that example for the person next to us who maybe is feeling a little scared of speaking out, but then they see us or someone else on social media or in real life, once we can, once we can do real life again you know, speaking and living their values and it is inspiring, it's contagious. And, you know, the contagion of emotion actually is something really big right now. When we see fear-based articles in the news, um, fear-based talk on social media, and it's really, really easy as emotional beings to get drawn into that and kind of paralyzed by it. I mean, I find myself, I think, oh, I'll just check one news source and then 30, 40 minutes later, (laughs) 30, 40 minutes later, I'm like, in a spiral of insanity and depression and have to kind of call my way out of it. And I think I've been hearing about that happening to a lot of people. And it's important for us to kind of remember to maintain our equilibrium and that we have to stiff up or lip this and do the dutiful towards our work, towards being transparent in our work, towards demanding transparency from anyone that we even give one penny, one rupee to. You know, we vote with our dollars, right? And at the end of the day, are we going to go to Amazon.com and support this guy? Or are we going to find those individual brands that we like on there and contact them and purchase directly through them? This is a fantastic opportunity to see who's doing right and supporting that and see who's canceling orders, who is, you know, not making the correct decision, who is just greenwashing and all that's out the window now. And that's, uh, those are the people that we can politely decline and move forward with those who are respecting our environment, who are taking care of their people. You know, as consumers, it's up to us. And as business owners, it's up to us to also set that standard. But how do we enable ourselves to be these conscious consumers, to be brands that stand up for the right thing? You know, it comes down to taking care of ourselves and having, you know, that proverbial uh, full glass so we can go out and pour and give to others. And yeah, that's definitely been a difficult one, I think, for all of us, you know, like many of you out there, I'm also bombarded with take my class, take this meditation, take this yoga, take this, you know, CrossFit online thing. And I find it a little overwhelming sometimes, 
Um, but I've uh, personally, I've gotten back into a Vipassana meditation practice, which has really, really been so helpful for identifying when all of those fears and anxieties come in and being able to just sit with them and process them instead of like have a, have a moment about it. But of course, we will, we will all have moments, so it really doesn't matter. But finding those ways to nurture and nourish ourselves, and I would absolutely recommend any kind of meditation that you can possibly find, even just the 10 minute Google one, like whatever, whatever makes, enables you to feel grounded in yourself in order to keep that calm mind when you see these news articles, when you hear this bad industry news and just say, okay, I'm going to get through this. We together as a collective are going to get through this as long as we nourish ourselves and have that realization that we can make the choice of how to react to any information that we are given. And yeah, I guess that's just, that's been my uh, regular process with fear as of the past two days, which feels like two weeks, two months, you know, how long have we been here? And I don't know, but we're going to do our best, try and help other people who are out there keeping the world running for us and thank God for them. You know, what would we be doing? Keeping that in mind and making the right decisions moving forward with our purchasing and our creation and you know uh feeling positive feeling good that when this is all said and done you know the little notification pop up there when this is all said and done and we're back out there we're buying we're making we're selling like we're doing it with a mission we're doing it for the greater good to help each other in the environment and not just to make pretty stuff anymore hold strong in that and best of luck to everyone I love you.